in 2013, Defense Distributed successfully printed the 3D gun. Here's what this beautiful piece of art looks like. The Liberator was created by Cody Wilson in 2013. Wilson, a law student and founder of the nonprofit organization Defense Distributed, designed and printed the gun using the FDM printer. The Liberator is a single shot pistol made from plastic components with the exception of the metal firing pin. The US State Department ordered Defense Distributed to remove the files for the gun from its website, citing violations of international arms control laws. Despite this, the files have since been widely shared on the internet and the technology for 3D printing firearms continues to advance. Now, let's talk a little bit about 3D printing and the Second Amendment. 3D printing has had a positive impact on the Second Amendment, which protects the right to bear arms. 3D printing has made it easier for individuals to exercise their Second Amendment rights by allowing them to create their own firearms at home. 3D printing has made firearms more accessible to individuals who may have had difficulty obtaining them through traditional channels, such as due to cost, location, or wants and needs. 3D printing allows individuals to customize their firearms to their specific preferences and needs, including the ability to modify the design, modify the size, or the materials used. 3D printing has the potential to spur innovation in firearm design and technology, as individuals are able to experiment with new materials and new design concepts.